Greetings everyone. This is Grandpa Glenn making a video about flying for my grandsons. This is the T-38 Talon in formation. I'm in filming from the number two position. Number two's job, as you know, is to be there. So here we are on takeoff. We just left the ground and the wheels will be coming up right now and I'm using a lot of throttle and stick to try and stay in position. The best position to be in is to find that light, that position light on the right wing and put that light in the center of the star on the right fuselage intake. So that's what I'm working towards here. Now this is a cross under where he sends me from his right wing to his left wing and so I slide back go to the left and then go forward I'm not looking at my own instruments at all because I have to be trusting lead and just following the leads inputs this is a tactical rejoin where I'm starting from about 3,000 feet to his right and coming in back onto his wing this type of formation is used in tactical flying where you're each looking out for the bad guys to be a team. So I slid over just behind him and then I'm slowly moving into position into what's called fingertip position. Fingertip formation is about three foot of wingtip separation and it's, um, it's a very hard workout because you're constantly moving the throttle and constantly moving the stick. Here I'm quite a ways back from him and getting ready to move in for a rejoin. A rejoin is the name of joining back together after being separated. So I'm coming up on his left and at an angle I've always got a chance that I'm going too fast and I'll have to overshoot if I overshoot, I'll have to slide under him to the other side to make sure that I don't slam into him. So there's always a way out if you misjudge your speed. But you can see I'm trying to put that left position light into the center of the star. Okay, he's way down there by the lake. I don't know if you can see him here. I zoomed in with the camera. These pictures, of course, were taken with regular 8 millimeter wet film many, many years ago. Uh, thir over 30 years ago. Okay, this is an echelon turn. So rather than stay up on his wing, I'm staying underneath him in a turn. And as we go further into the turn, now I'm going to move back up into fingertip position. So right there is the perfect fingertip position with the light centered on the star. All right, now Oh, this airplane, by the way, is based at Beal Air Force Base in California. Did you see his slight little wing tip, wing flip there? That means he wants me to move from his right side to his left side. So I slide back and under and across and then up into fingertip position. I got a little high right there. You never want to get so high that you lose sight of the aircraft because that's dangerous. So I'm getting back into fingertip position there. Okay, now here's where you can see I'm um, showing you what it is to get too high. Don't want to lose sight because then you can't see where the other aircraft is and there could be a uh, collision. There's Mount Lassen in the background. It's actually the mountain, the big uh, volcanic mountain just south of Mount Shasta where Uncle Tyler grew up, Tyler Stokes. That's our military operations area where we worked all the time in practicing formation and other maneuvers such as loops, barrel rolls, aileron rolls, split S's and other things. Okay, this is what a dogfight would look like. That little speck you see out in the distance, that's the lead aircraft. And I'm pretending like he's a bad guy and we're in a dogfight. So I'm trying to keep him on my nose all the time so that I can uh, shoot him. 
So you keep the lead in the front and you just do whatever maneuver is necessary to keep him in the front. Here's what a barrel lo roll looks like from inside the cockpit. We start with our nose going up and turning to the right. You can see the horizon there in the corner with the with the clouds and then we're going to go all the way up and over. We're upside down completely right there. We continue the roll and we end up with our nose low and wings level. Ready to pull up back up into a normal level flight position. So that's called a barrel roll. And um, it's you generally keep about 1G the entire time. So you're not you're not feeling negative G's. Now my nose is way low and um, I must still be following that other airplane though I don't see him in the film right now. Alright, now we're going to transition here and we're going to get back into a normal position. I'm going to, he's going to go inverted and he's going to fly upside down inverted and push over so that he's at negative 1 G's. So negative 1 G is where you end up having all the blood rush into your head and your, you get bloodshot eyes actually. Okay, now we're the lead and he's number two. You can see he's slightly behind us. So that's what it looks like from the lead aircraft position. Whereas up at, until now we've been the number two guy. So in every flight we'd practice lead and we'd practice number two. So that we got proficient at both things. Being a lead aircraft is a great responsibility to be smooth and to project your intentions so that the number two guy can follow you. Okay, now we're headed back to the base. Uh, you can see Beale Air Force Base runway off to the right there. And we're on what's called a downwind, ready to uh, get ready to land. Um, we're separated quite a bit because we're not going to make a formation landing. We're going to land separately. Uh, we did do formation landings, but they were rare. This is uh, coming back up to what's called initial, where we're going to overfly the runway right straight down the center line at about a thousand feet above the ground. And then as we get to the middle of the runway, midfield it's called, then we're going to pitch out. So we're going to, we're headed the direction we're going to land right now. But now he pitches out to the right and he's going to do a 180 degree turn. Down below you can see the other aircraft at Beale Air Force Base which included uh, KC-135s mostly besides the U-2 and the SR-71. Okay, now we're on downwind and we're going to get ready to land. So we're headed opposite the direction we're going to land. So here come the gear. You're going to see the doors come down first and then the wheels and then the doors go back up and we're in a position where we can land now. So <clears throat> I'm going to follow him around the traffic pattern. We're going to do another 180 degree descending turn called the final turn right now in order to line up with the runway for touchdown. In the turn where um, the purpose of these turns is to clear. Clearing means to watch out for other traffic so that we don't end up turning into uh, another airplane and getting in the way of another airplane. So I'm still flying formation but I'm not in fingertip formation right now. Instead I'm uh, backed off a little ways to give him plenty of room to maneuver to set up to land. Okay, he's lined up with the runway now, continuing his descent. I'm zooming in because I'm a little far away now and he's um, getting lower and lower ready to land. Right now, he's going to be over what's called the overrun, which is the yellow striped blacktop that is not part of the runway, but it leads to the runway. And now he crosses at the threshold, which is the beginning of the runway, and touches down. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's um, meant to show you what it was like way back when to fly in formation with the Air Force. I love you all.